I think one of the reasons why I used to objectify people is because I used to look at myself as someone that nobody could relate with. I thought I was some sort of anomaly. I thought I was a special flower. I thought that the emotions and the things that I would think about are things that nobody could possibly relate with. And uh, I think in my 20s, I think about how people would tell me, you know, oh, you're not that special. And uh, I would, al- I used to always take it as if they were just trying to make fun of me or something or try to tell me that uh, I suck. And uh, I think in most cases, people are just trying to tell me, look, dude, um, other people can relate with what you're going through. You're not, you're not that special in that regard. You know, you're a person, you're a human. People go through these things. People go, people experience this stuff. You're not alone. That's a thing that I, I think when people hear, I think when a lot of other people hear that you're not that special, I don't think what goes through their head is someone telling them you're not alone. But I think that's really a lot of the overall message. I think no matter what you've went through, no matter what emotions you're feeling, no matter what your thought processes are, I bet there's someone or even a lot of people that can relate with you. I don't think you're as alone as you think you are. You're not as alone as you think you are.